Yo, what up? Welcome back to another quick Flutter tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to switch from light mode to dark mode. Now, I'll show you how to do it both manually through the app itself and also how to do it automatically with the phone system settings. So like for example, on an iPhone, you can change it from light mode to dark mode in the control center. So I've opened up a brand new Flutter project and just to keep everyone on the same page, in my main function, I'm running my app which brings us to our material app and I've got my pages in a pages folder. So currently I just have a home page, which is a blank scaffold. So you should have a nice white blank app like this. So in the scaffold, this is where we can set a background color, right? Now, just to save us some time, I created us a couple of components. So I have a box and a button. So this is the code for my box. You can take a closer look at it if you like, but essentially it's just got a width and a height and we have a child that we can give it. So I think it's better if I show you visually what this is. So in the body, in the center, I'm just gonna create my box. And this box requires us to fill out two parameters. So like I just showed you, we can specify a child. Let's just give it a text widget for now. And a color, let's create a similar purple color, but maybe make it a bit lighter. And for the child of this box, let's bring in our button. So again, this is what the code for my button looks like, but essentially it's just a gesture detector with a container inside. So if I come back here, you can start typing my button and we can specify the color for it. So again, I'm just gonna use a similar deep purple color, but maybe make it a bit lighter. And then we can fill out this on tap. Currently, let's make it execute nothing, but I'll show you later on how we can use this button to change from light mode to dark mode. So in any of your apps that you're building, I think having sort of three different levels of colors is a common situation. So we have the background color, we have the sort of primary color. And then you've got that secondary color as well. Now the purpose of this tutorial is for light mode versus dark mode. So I'm gonna create a new folder here called theme and let's create a file called just theme.data. And so in here, firstly, we have to import our material design and we're going to create two themes. So one for the light mode and then one for the dark mode. And the very first property I just wanna show you is the brightness. So I'm gonna set the brightness for light and dark. And then if you come back to our main.dart file, you can see in the material app, we can specify a theme. So let's give it the light mode first off. And you can actually specify a dark theme. So let's give it dark mode. And right off the bat, the differences that you can see is if I toggle the appearance, which is the theme of the system of your phone. So you can change from light mode to dark mode on your actual device. And currently the only thing that's changing is the text, right? And you can see that status bar as well is changing from white to black. And so all of those default colors for like the text and the status bar is going to be controlled by the light and dark. So that will take care of a lot of the little things. Now let's be more specific in the colors that we want. So for the color scheme, for the background color, let's say I'm gonna have gray with a shade of 400. And let's do something similar for the dark mode, but for this gray, I'm gonna make the shade 900, so it should be a lot darker. Cool, so if you come back to our home page, if you look at this scaffold, we've currently got it as blue. So now we can get rid of this and say theme dot of context, go to your color scheme, and then just select background. And if I just restart this, so depending on if we're in dark mode or light mode on your actual device, it'll show the two different colors. Cool, so this should make our code much more cleaner and easier to deal with. So that was the background color. There's a couple more you can specify. So you've got the primary and this one, I'm gonna say a little bit lighter and let's do something similar for the dark mode as well. I'm just gonna make it slightly lighter, but this is where you can specify the colors that you want precisely for your app. Now the three main things I believe that are useful to use are background, primary, and also secondary. So coming back to our home page, similar to how we did this background color, let's also change the color of the box and give it the primary color and secondary for my button. 
Cool, and then if I save it, you can see there's the dark mode version. And if I change to light mode, then this is how we can easily switch between the two modes. Awesome, like I said, these few properties are probably the main things that you'll really need to use. But you can see there's a lot more options here you can specify. So play around with it and have a look. And now that the colors are done, I want to spend the rest of this tutorial just to teach you one more thing, which is to allow the user to manually switch between light mode and dark mode within the app. So currently it's just a system wide setting. So like if you have a iPhone, you can control in the settings or in the control center for it to be light mode or dark mode for the entire phone. And then this Flutter app will reflect that system wide change. But sometimes you want your app to be able to have a kind of manual switch within the app. So I'll show you how to do that as well. Now for that, we're going to need a state management. So let's bring in provider in the pubspec.yaml. And in the theme folder, let's create one more file called theme provider. And so for this one, we're going to need to use some provider. And I made a separate tutorial for provider. So if you want more in depth on how to use this, then check out that tutorial. But I can show you here real quick. So for the first theme, let's just have it as light mode and we can create some getters and setters. And we need a method here to toggle the theme. So let's just do a quick check. If this current theme is light mode, then change it to dark mode else change it to light mode. Now if I come back to my main file, make sure to wrap your app with a change notifier provider. So we can give it our theme provider and also our app. Cool. Now if I come back to our material app, you can get rid of this dark theme. And for the overall theme of this app, we can go to our provider and access the theme data like this. Let's say if I come back to my home page and you got this button, let's say I want to use this button to toggle between light mode and dark mode. So you can see if I hit this on tap, currently it's executing nothing. But now let's say provider and try to access that toggle method. There it is. Cool, and then if I save it, you can see I can manually toggle between light mode and dark mode from within the app. And that's it. Hopefully that was easy to understand. I hope you learned something. Play around with it. And if you have any questions, just comment below and I'll try to come around and help you out. But thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.